Hello and welcome back to the roundup of this year's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 20 January 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter details how Mercedes-Benz is set to make a second hybrid in South Africa amid mounting competitiveness concerns. Mercedes-Benz South Africa will add a second plug-in hybrid electric vehicle to the production lineup at its East London plant this year, but there are concerns over the number of infrastructure challenges the car maker faces, including water supply, load shedding and the performance of the country's ports. These factors all play a role in South Africa's automotive production competitiveness. The engineering news features focus on South Africa's energy outlook for 2023, where South Africa must apply lessons from the auto industry to the green hydrogen sector. Water treatment, purification and desalination, where the circular economy enables value-added byproducts. And business conferences and exhibitions, where the Exhibition and Event Association of Southern Africa hopes the industry becomes profitable again. The Mining Weekly features focus on base metals, where the automotive sector bolsters the demand for aluminium. This week's business leader is Jacques Kotsu, MD of Bridgestone, South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, any thoughts of South Africa making an entirely fresh start in 2023 after what was a difficult 2022 were quickly snuffed out. Not only has there been ongoing load shedding, but many of the other hangovers from last year remain ever present, including signs of infrastructure decay and a difficult political climate. We hope you enjoy the first 2023 edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.